Hi everybody! So now we move on to the fun part where we're going to arrange the Christmas sparkle arrangement. So uh, in this uh, we're going to show you how to cut the leaves. We're going to make them a little bit shorter and then we're going to start arranging everything into our cube container. So let's get started. So we're going to start first of all talk about the container. Now uh, in a previous live I discussed what I was going to use and that is going to be a 10 centimeter or 4 inch cube. All right this particular one I'm going to use is a mirrored one uh, just because of the sparkle element of it but you can also of course we're going to add some little uh, little uh, face filler and some little Christmas baubles so you can obviously do that with the with that. And remember also color palette I'm working with silver but of course you can do gold, you can do um, copper, you can also do rose gold as well. Um, so that's one option. Obviously this is a clear vase um, and I've just got some filler in here but the clear vase and again in the live I showed uh, using a ribbon inside there. You can use a wide silver ribbon inside the vase and then obviously you fill that in, in the same way so it will obviously look silver from the outside. Um, you could use obviously black would look very striking as well and these are uh, just from a dollar store, a pound store, they're little gift boxes that have a lid on them. They're again a four, approximately a four inch to a 10 centimeter cube. And this is a buffalo plaid one, which I thought were also, you know, similar to the plaid ribbon. We use the same ribbon as we used last year in the Christmas arrangement. But this also works really well with the uh, amaryllis and the colors. And of course, you could still add the bling in the top part here. So what I've done is, uh, first of all, we're going to um, couple of options. You're going to use a piece of styrofoam. This is about 20 millimeters wide. So I've just cut this down from a block of styrofoam. And this is styrofoam I've used. It's got lots of holes in it. So that's a good way to recycle it. And uh, just cut that with a serrated knife um, or a hot wire cutter and uh, cut that to fit the inside of the cube. All right, now another option you could also use is you can use approximately about 200, and, uh, 200 to 225 grams of fondant. This is some fondant from a previous class I had. Um, so it's just basically excess fondant. Of course, I could always use it up, but you might have some dry fondant or you might have some um, also air drying clay that's got a little bit hard or whatever. Um, and if you've got like odd colors, you can mix them together. But as I said, so either some styrofoam or a block of, and I'm gonna just sort of drop that into the bottom of the, the mold or put the styrofoam in. And that's just going to sort of fill obviously with the styrofoam. You can use a little bit of hot glue, but we're going to use some uh, weights inside here. Obviously, I will just polish the outside of this because using my fingers, it's going to get a bit marked. All right, and uh, we're going to, that will be the first step. So you've got your styrofoam. Now we're going to cut the wires. All of the foliage wires will be 10 centimeters long. So we're going to cut the wires to 10 centimeters. All right, so it's gonna be four inches or 10 centimeters long. All right, so you just cut the wires and I've already cut the uh, wires on the other two. two um, these have also been cut. So from this end, this end bar it joins, this is 10 centimeters. And also here, this is 10 centimeters from where obviously here, 10 centimeters long, okay? So I'm going to, first of all, going to uh, put this in first. Okay, now what I'm going to do is my, I'm going to do this on the uh, left front corner. All right, so I'm going to do it on the left so you can sort of see into camera. So this is going to go at an angle. So I'm actually going to go not sort of into the center, but really down almost the side of the vase. So this will sit into, just go into the paste just a little bit of the styrofoam. So it's just sort of sitting um, on the edge of the uh, container there. All right. And then I'm going to take the boxwood. Now the boxwood is going to go on the opposite corner. So I'm going to put that on the opposite corner there. And I'm going to go sort of sit that into the so as you can see, that's sort of sitting into there. So it's just sort of going across, not right away to the corner. So really, uh, you just want to have it so that the the majority of the leaves are visible out of the top there. And that's just going to rest on the um, on the corner there. And then the spruce, so the spruce is going to sit really about in the same place as the boxwood. And you see how that's going to just sort of cross over. So the, if this is the front, all right, so you see they're just sort of sitting like that. So the boxwood and, and just crossing over, all right. 
and they're approximately in the middle. So if you think about, they're sort of going about in the center, all right? And of course you can move things around as needed um, into there. All right, now next step is going to be, we're going to put the um, amaryllis in. Now the amaryllis, what I've done is I've cut off just obviously where we put the softened fondant or the hot glue, you're just going to pop just a little small amount of wire there. So just cut that off. You'll need to do that carefully with your wire cutters. All right. And the amaryllis is going to sit into, into here. So it's going to just rest. Now, if you're doing this on styrofoam, all right. So if you're doing this on styrofoam, where it goes in, you'll need to just use like something about a comparable size um, as the uh, bubble tea straw. And then you can sort of just press it on and then you can just go in with a something like this, just to make a sort of an indentation to accom accommodate the base, all right? So that will be in a styrofoam because this is not like a traditional flower that's got um, the wires on it. And then just gonna put that in just a little bit. So it's just, just sunk into the, you can see the amaryllis is going to go into there. All right, so this is a sort of the, the foundation you can see of our arrangement starting. All right, now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some like quinoa. All right, so it's just quinoa, you could use rice, but quinoa is good because it's obviously quite fine, like millet. Um, and you can also use, I've got here some sand and I've got some green sand. So I'm just going to put some green sand into here. So just put some millet or, as I said, some uh, lentils. This will get a little bit messy also because we're going to be using some glitter in a minute as well. But uh, so just even that up. So that will hold the, the amaryllis in place. All right. So you've got your amaryllis in there. And then what we're going to do is, uh, so this will be the amaryllis. Now the paper white, on the paper white, I've cut off to four centimeters long. So what I've done is I've, I've cut the wire when the end of the stem is, all right, so if you follow the directions, obviously it tells you how long we're making this paste stem here or air drying clay. So I've cut that to four centimeters. This is all in your directions, all right, for the assembly. And uh, what we're going to do here, this is going to sit in the front here. So that's gonna go in sort of really like from this corner across to the other corner, all right? So that will be sort of how that fits in into the corner here, all right? And then what I'm going to do is just gonna push the this around. Now, there's a couple of options here, all right? So you can use, for example, this is some fake snow, all right? So this is one that's got almost like a little bit of bling in it, like a little bit of glitter in there. So you can use some of that on the top. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use this to just sort of put on top of the sand or on top of the quinoa. Because this is this could be a really nice for an arrangement, and then you're going to just use the. So I'm going to put this on in. I'm just using a spoon here. Obviously, we've got the tulips to go in, but it's easier to do this before you. And you can just sort of use your little spoon, put this in. You can see that sort of, you know, creating the snow on the top of this. You know, of course, we we've used. Uh, things like moss as well. But, and of course I've done this all in sugar, but those of you working with air drying clay, this will look really beautiful in the, so that's gonna give you a, so we've got the sort of the snow. And of course you can buy bags of snow pretty inexpensive. And then you can just, this one I got again at the pound dollar store. Um, and it's got sort of like, like sort of mylar pieces in it. So it's got a little bit of sparkle in there already. All right, and you can just obviously move that as needed. So you can see we've got the snow in here. Now then you can take some, these are um, vase filler, all right? So these are little tiny balls and I showed this in the live, you know, this came in a pack again from the dollar store. So there's gold and there's silver. And of course you can mix gold and silver, it's very nice. A lot of people do that around the holidays as well. So you can put some little, 
these little silver, and this is called like vase filler. So it's uh, used for um, filling vases. So you can just put some of that like on the top. So you've got like a little bit of um, bling there. So you can see you've got the little pieces there. And then we're going to take the, so the um, French tulip is going to go into here and then we're going to be using some other things filled into here. Now here we've cut this to uh, six centimeters, all right? So four centimeters on the paper whites and then the stem here from when the paste stems, that is six centimeters, all right? And you can of course use your pliers here because of course you're going to go through the, the sand here and this is going to sit this is going to sit sort of right, right here. So they're going to sit, the tulips are going to sit like up the top here. All right. And then you can use, um, for example, these are sort of smaller silver balls. Now I'm just using, again, these are inexpensive ones, but the glitter obviously works very well with this, with the mirror, but you can also of course use glass ornaments as well. And this would be a really nice uh, gift for somebody. You know, you could use like a sort of keepsake ornament and you could use a keepsake ornament there. So you need to just sort of look at the, um, the size of your piece there. So I'm just going to put like an ornament into the, the front here. So that will be sort of like you see sort of underneath, the, underneath here, the amaryllis. And I'm going to use some smaller one. So a smaller one just at the back here. And I'm going to use some little, little, so just sort of fill this in with some pieces here. So you've got your, got your pieces there, all right? So you've got that sort of, the, the sort of element there. Because when you uh, look on, if you did online for like Christmas, fresh Christmas arrangements, you see like florists often use like ornaments and uh, like a little bit of bling in your piece here. Now, of course, also if you have, um, if you have a, a extra um, elements that you've made, for example, from your uh, winter foliage mold, you know, you could add ed extra things as well. I'm just giving you ideas for obviously putting these flowers together in an, a sort of an arrangement. And this is sort of a little bit more of a sort of European style arrangement. And then if you have any little, little areas there. Now, there are other things that you can, uh, can add um, to this. Like for example, you can add, these are hat pins, all right? So these are used a lot for weddings, for um, brides, for uh, when they have, um, if the hair done up and things like that. So you can buy this type of thing online. So these are just like, like little hat pins. You can use these. Another thing that you could do is uh, where the snow is, before you put the snow in, you could add little Christmas lights. You know, then obviously you'd have the little battery pack at the back, and then you could actually have sort of glow. So at nighttime, that's gonna look really nice. Um, then you, uh, of course, have little lights in the snow, and that would look really, really pretty at nighttime, especially if you're doing this for a a gift for somebody. But there's lots of things you can do like brooches, like you know, you could put those uh, brooches like this. And then also, of course, when you use um, things like uh, your, um, cal your calla leaves, you know, when I did the in book number two, you know, this is the floating calla leaves. So you see the when you do that technique, but you use here tulips. So if you do five tulips, if you follow the video, there's a video on how I did this, if you do that with tulips, and you use three or five French tulips, then here you would actually use the bow loop. And I've done that a couple of times on cakes where I've made like floating um, uh, tulips, French tulips, and then I've done the, um, the bow on there. Because in the, uh, in the towards the back of the, the book here, this has got the little French tulips. Remember the French tulips which are in the book here, those were done with the peony, all right, and the peony leaf. But you can do them like this with the peony or obviously like we've done in the class, which are the more slightly more pointed ones. So there's lots of uses um, for that. Now I'm going to also add to this arrangement. So I'm gonna add some little, um, now these are little sparkle branches. Again, they're a little bit messy, got glitter everywhere. But again, this is the sort of thing that you can find uh, very easily. And, but also remember when we did the winter white spray, I actually on the video for the winter white spray, uh, when we did the anemone, I showed how to make wire loops and then how to put glue on them and then use glitter. So you could make your own uh, type of branches. You could also even just go and pick some little branches from your garden and then brush them with PVA glue and then put glitter on those. But these are just little uh, branches 
that you can use. And uh, these look nice uh, to use in, a, in an arrangement as well. So you can use those for a little bit of height and a little bit of uh, the bling in here. Okay, and then they can, so you can add a little bit of these as you wanted to. All right, so this is the, the little bit of, uh, so I'm gonna just put those coming out. So I just cut these down. Um, these are um, lengthwise. I've cut these so they're about, you know, about 20 millimeter, 20 centimeters long. So I've just cut these down. But you can just put a couple of the these in the in the back here. So I'm just gonna do a little smaller one, as I said. Just glitter, glitter gets everywhere. <laughs> so, so just put the glitter in here. I just thought it'd be fun to sort of uh, just do, as I said, something a little bit, a little bit more glittery here. And, uh, you know, sort of in your arrangement. And then you can obviously de-glitter de your table. But um, as I said, you know, things, things like the little, um, you know, hat pins and things, you can use those. They, they can be used in, uh, in an arrangement, you know, so there's lots of, uh, things you can buy, but of course this time of year, there's lots of um, things available that you could, uh, you could use uh, for, for the arrangement. And um, so you can see here, you've got the, um, obviously the, the foliage, the, and you see the amaryllis sits very nicely. You can see from the top here, you see that amaryllis is actually sort of just sitting directly in between those leaves, and then the bud is going there like that. And now there's going to be photographs of uh, obviously the uh, up top shot, uh, overhead shot of this, so you'll be able to sort of see everything, and um, that will give you your uh, Christmas arrangement. All right, so really beautiful, very European in style, you know, more sort of compact arrangement, and uh, as I said, arranged with the, the flowers there. But uh, remember, you could use a lot of these techniques. So this could be done as a topper, for example, for a Christmas wedding. I remember other ways you could do the topper is you could actually do that as a four inch, 10 centimeter cake dummy. And then like we did the basket, and for example, when we did the cover in the can uh, for the, with the bamboo, you could, for example, use uh, a lot of the, uh, especially Katie Sue molds, the texture molds, and cover it in four panels, then you could paint it silver. Now there, what you would do, of course, you would have to accommodate the uh, wires, would have to be, especially on the amaryllis, you would just make a very, very short back to the amaryllis, or really not bother about that extension, that tube that goes up to the, up to the back of the amaryllis. Um, so here we have our, as I said, our Christmas, uh, Christmas, uh, as I said, sparkle. And, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed that and we'll have a lot of fun putting these flowers together. So I hope you've enjoyed the Christmas sparkle arrangement project. We'll have a lot of fun making these flowers. Remember things like the amaryllis, it's great to use any time of year. For especially in the springtime, but a lovely statement flower. And of course, it'd be great to see some of you maybe want to do, if you had, for example, pink in your living room, you could do the apple blossom variety, which is my grandmother's favorite, and uh, the pink and white one. There's obviously white, you know, so if you gain, if you want something a little bit more contemporary. I did the red because it's a really sort of fabulous color for Christmas time, but also a little bit more of a, an unusual flower. But uh, as I said, I hope you will enjoy this. I uh, can't wait to see you posted, all of the arrangements finished, and whether you do all of the components or you simplify it. And remember, if you want to obviously put the flowers in separate vases or give them a little uh, container uh, as, as a gift for somebody to put in a vase, makes a really, really nice gift, especially in air drying clay. Uh, so happy Christmas, happy holidays, everybody. And until next year, I'll see you soon. Sweet wishes, bye.